Cool, man. Thank you. Imagine you have a device in your pocket that can literally transport you to any possible place at any given time, real or imaginary. Where would you go? What would you explore? Think back to the times you were a child. You just grab a friend and fill whatever was at hand with your imagination. And it felt so very real. Star Trek took that cardboard box, treehouse, you name it, and gave it a reality with their holodeck, an empty room that's just filled with whatever the crew wished. They promised, promised it'll become reality. We just have to wait a little. For everyone in here, that's too far into the future. But is there something already available? It might not be a room, but some other way to enter the experience. In the 90s, we got the virtuality pots, but they were too big and clunky, and it was just too early to create a realistic experience. Then, four years ago, the Oculus Rift, a more consumer-oriented virtual reality headset, started the current VR wave, which has been going insanely fast. Viewers like the Gear VR or Google Cardboard appeared and made virtual reality cheap and portable as they only rely on the user's smartphone for the technology part. Let me quickly explain how it works. First, you put on one of these headsets, which then, which then knows the direction you're facing. Then it translates that rotation onto a digital camera inside a virtual world, 360 video or photo, so you're not only passively watching, you're in there with full control. No longer are you the audience, as in traditional storytelling, or right here, you're now inside the narrator's shoes. And that's the massive shift that virtual reality does. For the first time, we give the viewer a presence in the medium he visits. But at the moment, producing content for VR still lies solely in the hand of a few professionals. Um, but for a medium to thrive and reach its full potential, that has to change. Everybody should be able to create those captivating experiences. But an easy and accessible creation tool for VR is currently missing. But what's exactly missing? Accessibility? With the internet, we have the greatest connector of human, humans have ever seen. But the way we see the internet is still pretty traditional. We consume it like a newspaper. There's no space to walk into. Since some time, we've been experimenting with technology which enables us to enter the third dimension in your everyday browser. So it's not the web that's missing a part. It's more us underestimating what can be done with it. Realizing that, we started creating a website with an integrated editor on which you can put your creations, say your photos from your hikes in the Alps, your 3D architecture, or hand-drawn animations. And then you drag around, you scale it, you add your code, your video files, your sound files, and form every detail until you're satisfied with your shiny little miniverse. Online and accessible for everyone. It's all about sharing. Sharing your point of view, sharing your knowledge. And that's why every project is remixable. So if you want to learn how somebody did his creation, you can simply do a remix of that project open up a copy for you to analyze, learn from, and transform into your own. <laughs> OK. Um, I'd like to invite you to the first WebVR group viewing in history. So um, 
I wish you good luck and I'll see you back in a few minutes. I encourage you to stand up so you have more space to turn around and look at everything. Can I get your attention back? You can watch it after the show. <laughs> Please. <laughs> the space you've just experienced is yours to form. We hope that we have given you the tools to create, move, and share worlds full of stories. Only with your help can we unravel what's possible within virtual reality and the web. So let's explore the unknown together. Thank you. <laughs>